Welcome back, Hunters! I'm the Survival of This, and we return to Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. So last episode, we just did Ketchawacha, and we made it to Hearth Village, but it's not exactly what we were expecting. Like, every- not exactly bursting with Hunters, and not exactly an active place, is it? Yeah, step right up, I guess. Sorry if I seem under the weather, I can't seem to get in my work these days. Is there anything you want? Because I just got some new things in stock. Normal level 3, Pierce level 2, Flaming, Freeze... I'd keep going, but why? There's no point. No point at all. Anyway, let's talk you more spendy. Half off today. Oh, actually, you know what? I will look at buying a few things. Okay, I am going to try to get us stocked up with ammo. Because, as you can see, I've got the Arjros heavy bowgun now. I did a little bit of farming just on my own to get us that new heavy bowgun. And we'll just go for those for a start. And, you know, I'm going to pick up... I'm only going to start with those two books, because the third one is 5,000 zenny, and that's a lot for what, like, stage of the game we're at right now. So that should do and keep us good for a few hunts to come. Uh, the man's all set up with his spot here. Anybody else to talk to? Yeah, right here. The armory. Well, I don't know what it is, but I don't want to do nothing today. Pounding the hammer is like my heartbeat, and right now my heart's stopped. I'm under lethargic arrest. I sure do miss the lava. That bright, red, beautiful lava. <sighs> well, at least I can sell. You here to look some weapons? I just got some new buttes in stock. A little flash of zenny might reinvigorate my pulse, or convince me to fake it. Sounds like retail in general. Now feast those peepers on the goods. Um, armor-wise, nothing new there. Weapon-wise... Okay, looks like they just kind of have in stock for the next upgrade to regular weapons. See ya when I see ya. So we gotta find the chief, and going by the map, he's somewhere down here. Ah, I guess the... Horns or mustache? Mustache horns. Why? Why? It's all over. We're done for. Finished. Without the lava flowing, we can't mine. Our whole civilization will shrivel up like a huskberry. Gods, why? What did the Treverians ever do to you? Why are you trying to destroy us? Ah, oh. mm, who are you, a visitor? <clears throat> I, <clears throat> yes, I'm the village chief here in Hearth. What's that? Oh, you want to build a ship? Well, <clears throat> as you can see, we might have a little trouble helping you in that department. The lava flowing from the volcano suddenly dried up, and worse yet, a Tetsukabra has taken over the mine. If we Treverians can't mine, then we can't craft. And if we can't craft, we're nothing but useless piles of pudding. I thought I we had a grand future out of us, but... But no, no. Forgive me, little one. Forgive your pop for withering away into oblivion before I can see you reach womanhood. I can't breathe. <sighs> Is this the end? I'm done talking to you now, by the way. Just sounds completely done with life. Okay, and here's a familiar face for many of you, Little Miss Forge. Oh no, the village is in trouble. What am I going to do? Pop and the diggers have stopped moving. Like, they won't even budge. Are you a hunter, sir? Can I call you sir? You say you've already talked to Pop? Thanks. I don't know what happened. It's been like this for a while now. Trevarians of Hearth have been renowned for their weapons and armor since ancient times. But ever since that Tetsukabra took up residence in the Sunken Hollow, they've been acting super duper funny. They totally stopped mining. We have zero materials, sir. Work has stopped. The diggers have flopped. I feel like the only one left with any motivation. But now you come along, sir. This must be destiny. The winds of fortune. Whoosh. Do the village a big old favor and drive that stupid dead's copper waste. Pop and diggers will go back to normal. Can't stand seeing them like this. Slowly becoming part of the woodwork. Boo-hoo. What? No, I'm not crying. Boo-hoo is my angry noise. So it sounds like we have ourselves our first objective. So we'll talk to... Sophia? I was looking for you, Doodle. I've got a quest that should unzonk the villagers of Hearth. You'll have to take on the Tetsukabra, of course. It's... Wait, poisonous? Excuse me, what do you mean poisonous? I don't think we've ever seen Tetsukabra use poison. He does have a certain weird spit attack, but I don't think it's a poison. Frog-like menace that few have hunted successfully. Was he meant to have poison? As far as locale goes, oh, you'll be going to the Sunken Hollow, Naturally foreign volcanic field. The Tetsukabra thrives deep in vast caverns which are lit only by holes to the surface. It's a risky venture, but the people of Hearth are counting on you to get their lives back to normal. You'll save the village, but you'll also gain clout in the eyes of the guild. 
two gargoyle with one stone for you. Oh, if you're looking for Hearth's Quest Gate, it's next to the open air kitchen. Don't get lost. Here come the quests. I ma it makes me wonder if the quest departure gate was like one of the last things I tried to figure out for the village and they decided, ah, stick it up there. But that's kind of out of the way. Uh, just make a lot of people mention that's where to find it. So, yeah, I still got the two stars to do, but since they're going to be at the Sunken Hollow, I'm going to do start us right off to go after Boulder Bash here by Days Trevarian. Our mind's been a real mess ever since Tetsukaver showed up and shut down operations. We lifted a boulder like it was a pebble. Now let's get back to work. I got bills to pay. I wonder if he could actually tame Tetsukaver to use, like, for mining. It kind of seems like they'd be a good use for it. Okay, so we're all set up there. Everything's looking pretty good here. I think we'll actually use the kitchen for the first time in the series, because I have yet to actually do that. So what do you want? Okay, da 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 Okay, so let's see if we can do our standard of what use what I usually did, which was... Yeah, that gives us temper. Um, you know what? Actually, maybe I'll go for sharpshooter. I also gotta get some stuff out of my uh, inventory box. But we'll let the little... Uh, cutscene play out, because this is the first time we were watching it in 4 Ultimate. From that giant thing of rice, we don't actually have any rice on the dish. There we go. Okay, so now I'm going to start properly outfitting us, and that probably should involve... Yeah, making a few potions... Actually, hang on. Do I have a barbecue? I may see if I can actually pick something up. Just because I know I don't use it very often, but it doesn't hurt to actually have like a barbecue spit as you're going out. Just so that way if you do have anything you're out for a long time on, you have a way of getting your stamina back up. Because you can always hunt down more fresh meat. That's at least pretty reliable in the games. Okay, so we'll go after Tetsukaver in the Sunken Hollow. Now, I do actually really like the Sunken Hollow as a map. The only thing is, there's not a lot that actually uses the Hollow as the Hollow. That'll be explained more as the series goes on, but it has more of a unique feel now to me, like, seeing it like this. And it's one of the weird maps where, despite it being, like, entirely underground, it doesn't feel like it's actually underground. Yeah, so let's just get our stuff together, and then we'll embark. I also do... Okay, well, I won't be able to... Actually, that would be really good, is trying to figure out a weapon that has crouching fire of normal, too. Because now that I know you can dodge and actually roll right into a crouching fire position. Or stance, I guess. But yeah, like... If you actually look up, you are underground, but there's so much light that comes through, it almost looks like more you're just in, like, a valley system rather than that. But I do like the flowing water and just kind of the look of it right now. The Hollow is a bit of a limited map, as there's some stuff that kind of goes on that changes things up a little bit. I'm not really sure if it's spoilers with how old the game is, but... Like, it looks a lot cooler to me now than how it eventually goes. Like, maybe what I'll even do is do a bit of mining, go through each area, and show off some things. I also do have to let you guys know that, unfortunately, there is a bug with the uh, texture upgrade pack that I'm actually using to play for Ultimate, or emulate for Ultimate. So, unfortunately, Tetsukaver's intro has a really bad blur on it. I tried looking up to see if there's anything that could be done to correct it, but there isn't at the moment. So I'm afraid we'll just kind of have to endure it. But once it plays out, everything's back normal and pretty nicely just goes along. I don't know if there'll be more further in like that, but just to give you guys a little heads up that it might be a bit blurry, so... I might leave like a little, uh... I guess YouTube calls them chapters, but like little markers to say from this point to this point is the blurry bit, and if it hurts your eyes, you can skip right ahead to when we actually get to the hunt. You little buggers. Okay, there we go. Just going to see if I can get a few materials before we do get this hunt underway, because 
I probably will look at making Tetsukava's armor. I know the heavy bow gun will actually definitely be making from him. But I don't know what kind of like uh, mineral materials it may need. It might need mock light ore. Oh yeah, it is mock light ore. I want to say malachite for some reason, or malachite. I wonder if it's actually supposed to be like a play on words for that ore. Because I think... Malachite or Malachite? I think Malachite is the much more common, like, fantasy mineral, if it even is a fantasy mineral. Who knows, maybe it's actually a real-life mineral that's used often. I don't think it's called Macolite, or Machalite, or whatever Moss Hunter calls it. Yeah, I... Bring it. Oh, supplies have arrived, so that's actually... Wait a minute. What supplies have arrived? Alright, also the quest info is to wound Tetsu's jaw as part of the objective, so we'll try to aim for that. And this will probably be where... Yeah, I'll put your skip marker about here to when it's over. But as you can see, it's almost like you got drunk glasses on. There's not anything I know of that can fix it right now. It is a known bug with the texture pack, so you can kind of at least get a general idea of what's going on. Basically, you're ambushed by a couple of these annoying jaggy. And right when one's about to pounce, Tetsu goes for a meal. So again, it's really blurry. I think it has something to do with like the uh, 3D effect that normally can be on for like 3DS stuff. So. Yeah, this will be over in just a moment. We'll get right back to proper... Ew. Burped at us. There you go. Crystal clear. Now, Tetsu, originally the first few times, like, I fought or encountered him, he's a design that I felt was almost kind of lacking a bit from what we normally see with Monster Hunter. Like, to me, when I first played for Ultimate, it seemed like there should have been a little bit more detail just to some of his features. But that might be... He actually looks a lot better now. I wonder if it's because of the texture pack, or, like, the texture update that I'm using. Because I gotta admit, before he looked like he was basically, like, just a red, blue, and yellow coloration. It didn't seem like he had as much detail to, like, his face and... Stuff like that. Oh, careful. Okay, so we got the one tusk weak or broken. Okay, there we go. So we got the tail hits. Now, Tetsu kind of follows the uh, Resident Evil style of weak spots, where it's like the big, kind of noticeable thing when you actually get a good look at him. Like, you can see his tail puffs out to that weird... I'm actually not sure what... To... Ooh, gotta be careful. Not really sure what happens to his tail to make it, like, engorge like that. But yeah, that's the weak spot you generally want to try aiming for on Tetsu if you want to get the damage in. You can break... Okay, I think it's the jaws and maybe even the legs. No, actually, let me move the mouse over quickly to target cam. See, that's the weird spit attack I saw about, so maybe they treat it like a poison, even if it doesn't mechanically act like poison in the series. Oh! Okay, so Jaw's broken, that's good. I was gonna say, can we play Leap... Actually, you know what, we're gonna try. We're gonna see if we can play Leapfrog on him. Yes, we can! Now, are you gonna be grumpy the first time we're getting on? Yeah, you will be. Basically riding a giant bullfrog... 
Oh, I just thought of a really cool new design for a monster. Tetsukabra skeleton, but make it more like a tree frog. Much more slim, slender, hops around. That would actually probably be a pretty cool monster. Give him, like, uh, does poison attacks and spits, uses its tongue to attack. That actually might be an interesting monster concept if they ever try to use more of the amphibian skeleton. And I'm just going to snag the shiny before it goes away. Yeah, I thought we'd be in for a little bit of a pound in there. Uh-oh. Yoink! And then he'll do another. Okay, that went by a lot faster than I was expecting. I think that's the benefit of the heavy bow gun I got, because it is at... Let me check that quickly. 181. So that's a decent amount of power for one of the first heavy bow guns you'll get. This kind of does remind me of how Arshros' heavy bow gun... I think it was high rank 3 ultimate. Just was like super strong and shouldn't have been that strong but that would carry you pretty far with the stats on it. It also doesn't hurt that it looks pretty cool too. Now I wanna see, if I dodge, yeah, I can, even if I'm not with that, the like immediate ammo selected, you can pick it out from that. Now let's do a little bit more mining. Yeah, I... I really like the Sunken Hollow, though. It's a shame that it doesn't get used as much later on. Or, I think, at all. I don't know, it kind of feels like it starts as a pretty unique map, but then because of the changes, it becomes a bit more bland. Let's take what we got here. Ooh, that's a nice amount of rewards for that. Yeah, we'll take all that. Uh, yeah, we'll take that. Okay. So let's see how Hearth is doing now that we've done that. Ravager Revealed has been added to the gallery. And Buried Wonders added as well. Just cover on expeditions. And save, and then let's see if the village is a little more lively now that the mine should be open. Oh, yeah. People are actually up and about. The man, what do you got to say? Hard at work, I see. I came up with a design for some new armor made of Tetsukabra parts. If you get a full set, you'll get a skill that makes your defense tougher. If you bring me enough materials, I'll make the armor for you. It'll make the hunting life that bit easier. Now, shall we? Yeah, I want to take a look and see. What does this look like? Yeah, I don't mind that at all. I think... Yeah, I like the Blade Mask more, because it does look like it's little Tetsukabra heads on the shoulders. Anything that incorporates the monsters like that and it's really identifiable, I really enjoy. I kinda wish the one shoulder would have at least looked like that, but... What about the arms? Yeah, so big, bulky... Ooh, there you go! Big claw hand! Okay, so what are all the stats? Oh, it does have reload speed and health on it! I didn't realize that. So yeah, I think I'll be making that set for myself. And weapon-wise, okay, must only be through upgrading, because, yeah, there's the straw drum cannon. I don't know why there's so much, like, straw on it, though, but I think that's the thing about a lot of Tetsukabra weapons. Um, no, well, actually, that's just, like, a big knife. Where is Tetsukabra stuff? Oh, well, that's one of the more unique weapons of Monster Hunter, the twin chainsaws. I thought, um... Okay, I was hoping to find, like, a quick... Oh, well, there's your big, uh, butcher's knife for Tezcabra. I want to see, because I thought... Maybe I'll need the heavy bowgun has the weird, like, uh, straw to it. That seems to be the case, actually. Like, there's the Royal Launcher and the Shell Shooter. 
and no bow. Yeah, I don't know why there's so much straw in the drum cannon, but whatever. We've got... Ah, the chief here. Hunter, there you are. I've been waiting for you to return. It's always nice to see you back in one piece, Hunter. You did good. I hear you're the one who got rid of that test cover for us. Where do I even begin? I guess thank you would be a place to start. Our village relies on lava to produce our crafts, but for whatever reason, the volcano's juice has stopped flowing. The test cover was making it even worse by stopping us from gathering the materials we need. He caught us in a real mess. But anyway, are you still looking to build yourselves a ship? We won't get far with the project that big without the lava, so I'll see if I can find out what's impeding it. Hang tight. That we will. Let's focus on designing the ship while we while we wait. The man ought to be able to cook a blueprint up in his sleep. Ah, wouldn't put it past the Wyvarian. They can make anything. So, Carabineer. Oh, actually, that's an interesting thing. So, they're actually... There are Wyvarians, Trovarians... And humans, as like I guess this main sort of like group of people. So, Caravaneer, where are you planning on taking this grand ship of yours? So glad you asked. We're trying to find out the nature of this here article. Have a gander. Oh, this is incredible. You know how to pick your mysterious objects, I'll give you that. It reminds me of a similar object my great granddaddy once told me about. Really? Do tell. When he was still a young pup, my great granddaddy said Hearth was visited by a legendary Wyvarian artisan. The artisan had a strange artifact with him that gleamed brighter than the sun. Apparently, he came from a Wyvarian village far across the sea. I couldn't tell you exactly where. What was it called again? Mm. Oh yes, the village of Cathar. I like this story. Well, if you're building a ship, you need destination. Why not search for Cathar? You talk me into it, Chief. I smell a big clue come from Cathar's general direction. Since that's settled, Hunter. Go talk to the man and see what he can do f as far as designing our ship. You'll probably need some materials. That'll be your job. Oh, and these two are good. Oh, the rust abolisher. Er, her, her. Well, man, Hunter, thanks to you, the old rust abolisher is back in business and raring to go. This here is the antiquary. Trevarians have plied this trade for generations. You won't find anywhere but right here in Hearth. So, have you got one? You know, a relic? You've got to have at least one, right? That I do. Maybe turned up during the next. Yeah, basically to say, this is where you should have gotten it. Did you actually lose it? <laughs> but you can't equip relics the way they are. And that's where the antiquary comes in. Just let me polish that relic and it'll be ready for use. Polish needs special materials called abrasives. Abrasives turn up during guild quests too. Any of that sailed over your head, study by checking that. Give you an abrasive to get you started, so stand back, watch the abolish your polish. Yeah, so I do have one, which is the hunter guards here. Ooh, that's actually quite a bit of earth crystal, but you know what? I guess just to get that out of the way and done. Uh no, it won't equip now. Yeah, I don't really. I guess all it does is give a really... Oh, wow. Hang on a moment. Defense 10. And even Jaggy Guard's only 5. Although, is this... No, it's Gunner Gear. Okay, so yeah, the relics can... I just want to see. To trade... Okay, so... Oh, I see what it does. If you trade in relics you don't want to clean, it'll give you stuff for getting others. And Little Miss Forge. Yippee! Pop and Diggers are all back their normal workaholic selves. You're the bestest, sir. I really need it. I gotta kiss you. On the cheek. Here, I want you to have this. It's an Aqua Glow Jewel. You need to make decorations. Have you heard of skill points, sir? When you equip an army, you might notice each piece of skill points. Super handy hunting skills activated. Da, da, da. Increase power of your weapon. Da, 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 da. Trust me, it's totally worth it. This is where decorations come in. Like, you tweak skill points the way you like. You'll notice it has stunts. Oh, my. Okay. Yeah, I, I do like Little Miss Forge, but I mean, we've done all of that explanation multiple times in the series before. So I think I'll just try to wrap up all the talk and then we'll see what'll be next for. Fine work hunting that Tetsukabra. The moment you felled it, villagers of hearth swung to light and went off to mine with a tune on their lips. Now we can build our ship, I must say I am excited. Allow me to handle the design. In the meantime, I need to hunt a Gypsaros. Requires materials complete the ship, you see. Talk to the guild marm, registered quest called skin ship shape skin. Once that's taken care of, materials I need should find their way onto the market. Good luck. Now. Okay, yeah, so that'll be good there. Got some new stuff here. Hey, hey, Hunter. Boy, do I owe you big time. Thanks, Omegaton. Here, let me give you this. It's the least I can do. It's called a talisman. Talismans have skill points just like equipment. So you put one on, it'll add your skill point tally just like your other equipment does. Talisman comes with skill points for auto... <sighs> I kind of wish we would get something else. Like, it always is an auto guard talisman you get as your first one. Well, at least for, like, this, everything before Rise. And Sophia quickly, just to wrap things up. 
Folks of Hearth are back normal. Feels good to do a good deed. V vicariously, I mean. Now we just need the villagers to figure out why the lava stopped in the first place. By the way, the man filed a quest. If you're interested in helping him out, you need his materials to build our ship. Here's the one. It's called Ship Shaped Skin. Rubbery hides are handy for waterproofing. How clever. Good luck hunting that chip throw, Doodle. Yeah, so I'll probably work on a few quests in my own time, and then we'll tackle Gypsros as the next monster. But with that, and putting some stuff away, that will wrap up our time here in Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate for today. Just gonna see if I have more... No, okay, I'll buy more pickaxes. But thank you guys so much for joining me on this episode of the series. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like on... Hang on, just get that. There. Be sure to leave a like on the video, and if you have any comments, tips, or tricks, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. I'm always happy to get feedback on any of the series, and I try to respond as soon as I can to anything that comes up on the channel. Until I see you in the next video, hunters and survivors, please remember, as always, to take care, and stay alive, and happy hunting!